Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1534. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to count unique dates that a product was sold. And we get to see how to do it with the new Office 365 dynamic arrays and a traditional array formula. Now I'm on the sheet 1534 in this Excel workbook, which is available for download. And here's our data set. Date and product columns are the ones we're interested in. So for Carlota product, then MB, we need to look through this column, find all the, for example, Carlotas, pick out the dates. So in essence, we'd isolate and get rid of all of these dates that are not Carlota. Then from that generated list of Carlota dates, we need to count unique. Now, traditional formulas not including the new Office 365 Excel calculation engine and dynamic array formulas. Well, it's not that hard. We can use the if function to pick out just the dates we want based on product. This is an Excel table, so notice my downward pointing arrow. I click, and it puts table formula nomenclature in. There's the table name. And then in square brackets, there's the field name. Now I ask, how many of you in that column are equal to as a relative cell reference? the particular product. Now that will deliver an array of trues and falses, comma. Now what do I want? I want the date. So I click on date. I do not put anything to value of false, because if I leave that argument empty, if will put a false in, which in essence will be our filter to filter out the dates we don't want. Close parentheses. Now I'm going to hit the F9 key to evaluate. And you can see there's the resultant array. That is a day where we sold a Carlota. There's another day. Falses, those are all the days where we didn't sell a Carlota. Now, this, in essence, will be our set of raw data, because there are lots of duplicate days, Control-Z. So in older versions, when we needed to count unique items, we always use the frequency function. Data array, those are the numbers we want to count. We come to the end, comma. And since we want to count with some upper limits or bins array, we put every single date in. And the beautiful thing about frequency is the duplicate dates here will be ignored. If I close parentheses and hit the F9 key, you could see for any particular number, that's a date where Carlota was sold. Here on that date, we only sold Carlota one time. Here we sold two different transactions with Carlota, and so on. So our unique count is going to be all of the numbers that are greater than 0. Control-Z. Now I come to the end and I say, how many of you are greater than 0? F9 to evaluate. There's my trues and falses. If I could count all of these trues, it would tell me the unique count of dates where we sold a Carlota. Control-Z. We need to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. So I'm going to use double negative. Close parentheses, because I need to force the greater than operation to occur before the unitary operator minus. Close parentheses. By the way, we can do any math operation to convert trues and falses to ones and zeros. But throughout the decades, it's been shown that double negative does it most efficiently. Now I'm going to hit the F9 key. And there's our zeros and ones. If we could just add those ones, we would get our unique count. Control-Z. Well, there's an interesting aspect of the old frequency function. We can put it inside of any aggregate function. And we won't have to use the special keystroke Control-Shift-Enter. So since my goal is to count those ones, I simply put it into sum. Control-Enter. Now I'm going to copy this down, go to the last cell, and hit F2, verifying that all of the cell references are working. And there, in the older version of Excel, those are our unique count of dates that we sold to Carlota. Now here's the new way to do it. The first trick is we use the filter function. And the array we want to filter is the date column, comma. Which days do we want to include? Well, I ask the question, hey, product column, how many of you are equal to Carlota? Close parentheses. Now, since I have the new Calc Engine, I don't have to use the F9 key like we have had to use for years. I simply hit Enter 
to visually see what that formula element is delivering. Now, if you go through here, there's lots of duplicates. So I'm going to come up to the top cell, F2, and I want to get rid of the duplicates. So I simply say, hey, unique. Go through that huge list and give me a unique list. Close parentheses and Enter. Now, we didn't see any of the duplicates removed, but the resultant array here, or spilled array, does not contain any duplicates. Now, all we need to do is count the numbers. So I could use the count function. And actually, I've already done a few videos on counting unique. But notice we use count because we wanted to count numbers. And also notice that the new Calc Engine understands that now that we're counting that array, this formula is delivering a single answer. So when I hit Enter, of course, it doesn't spill. Now, I want to F2. Since that is a vertical array, we're dealing with a vertical data set. An alternative to count is we could use rows. Now, I didn't time these, but in general, rows will internally have less calculating to do because it really looks at the first one and the last one and subtracts to get a single number, whereas count will have to iterate and count. So this formula will work to give us the same answer. Control Enter, and then I'm going to copy it down. So we have the traditional array formula, frequency and if, with a bunch of array operations, greater than, double negative, and then inside of sum. or the conceptually easier formula to understand, we don't have to know things like greater than 0 and double negative to convert trues and falses to 1s and zeros. We just filter the data set, get a unique list, and then see how many rows there are. All right, that was a lot of fun with the new dynamic arrays and traditional array formulas. And of course, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including the next Excel magic trick where we will see another great dynamic array formula. All right, we'll see you next video.